Okay, so we continue with the normal distribution. And for that, you have to be able to see this special table that we have over here. Okay, I want to make sure that I can get back to where I was before. I can. Okay, good. Anyway, our special table is 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 has, deals with z scores. So you you do a z score, <laughs> you you get a z score. You can look up at this table what it's worth, how much it's worth. So for example, our example we're going to have one point fifty five pretty soon. So you there, there's one fifty five is over here. <clears throat> and when you look up 155, or let's uh, look, let's make it 150, 150. I want that example. So you look up 150. You look across the way, and it's worth 0.433. That's the area, 1.433. That's what that z score is worth. What does that mean? That means that this area from here to here is worth 0.433. That's how big it is. Okay, and uh, you can have minus z-scores, as like we said before. You still use the same table, even though it doesn't say minus here. You still look up the minus z-score. You can look up a minus z-score. For example, you can be looking up minus 1.75. Right over here, you look up 1.75, you point f 0.460, and what that really tells you is everything from here to the other side. Therefore, all the way to 1 .70, minus 1.75 on the other side, and it's worth... What did we say? 0.460. So this works for the positive one. It goes to the right. For the negative ones, it tells you the area going to the left, starting from zero, right? So you would go right, left to right when you're on the positive side. You go right to left when you're on the negative side. That's how this thing works, and you look up the table. So I'm going to try to have this table for us to look up. If not, we'll just have to write down some of these values, a couple of values, and we'll be able to do the problems that we want to do. But this is important information. This is a very important video. So these, and where can you find this? It's in your book. In your, it should be in your ebook, Appendix A. You can find a much fuller all of the scores, all of these scores with their areas. Appendix A in the book. That's where it is. It says it right here. Uh, an area table with more values can be found in Appendix A. So the ebook should have it. All right. So let's maybe try one on the same video. If it works, if not, we'll go to another uh, video. Yeah, it should work. Okay, so here we go with our uh, with our draw, with our smooth draw. This time I'm going to keep it a small screen. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Take it back. Let's take a let's take the big screen. Let's take the pencil. We always do. And then let's start. Here's an example of a question. So my title is normal distribution normal distribution continued right it's a long subject it doesn't stop it's all in 11.6 basically a little bit in 11.7 um, we'll see what we need from there if we need it and anyway here is the question find the area problem number one find area okay between z equals that's how it'll, that should be how it's phrased on your homework or on your test. Between z equals 1.50 and, one that's 1.50, be careful, 1.50 and negative 1. And z equals negative 1.75. Okay, so you look up on that table. You look up on that table, oh, uh, the uh, 150. And what you see is you're going to, when you, when you look it up, you're going to get 4.33. You look up on the table and look in the, t look at the table. You look it up like I showed you in the, just before. And what you get for this is 0.433. Okay. So you looked up on the, t and what, what are you really seeing? You're seeing sorry about that and what you're seeing is from here to 1.5 then you look up on the table again for 1.75 forget about the minus you just look up 1.75 and you see that you get 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460 0 0.460
But what you're really finding is the area over here on the other side. That's negative 1.75. So we just got this area and this area. Add them together and you have the answer. So if one is negative and one is positive, you add the two together and you get 0.893 and that is your answer. Okay, problem number two. Problem number two two on the same on the same um, on the same thing on the on the on the same video if we can what if you're asked for to find the area the question is find the area be between z equals 1.55 they're going to be both positive this time 1.55 and z equals 2.25 2.25 okay so what you got to do is you f go up and look on that table and you find out that the area for 2.2 the 1.55 the area for 1.55 when you look it up is 0.439 and the area for 2.25 is 0.488 so, but they're both positive, right? They're both positive. They're both positive. So simply what you're going to do is you're not going to add anything. You're going to subtract the smaller from the larger. They're both positive, but they're both negative. You subtract the smaller from the larger. If one is positive, one is negative, then you add the two together. Okay, so we subtract, so we get a nine, we get a four, and we should get, a, I think, a, a zero here, yeah? And that's it. Here's our answer. The problem is over. Okay, what about problem number three? Where you're asked to get z between point, negative point 0.60 and z is equal to negative point 0.135. Okay, now they're both negative. They're both negative. If they're both negative, get the large, get both of the scores, and then subtract the smaller from the larger. It's only when they're one's negative, one's positive. In problem number one, is when you, you added the two together. So look up the point sixty. Look up the point sixty on your on your um, on your table. And when you look up the ta the the, the um, when you look it up, you should get 0.226. When you look up to 1.35 on your table, you should get a 0 0.1412, 0 0.4, what is it? 0.412. You subtract the smaller from the larger, the 226 from the 412, and what you get is point, what you get is point one eight six and you are done that's the answer we end this video we're running out of time i only have 15 minutes for youtube that's how it works okay come up here so you know stop recording